Hi, hello, hey. So I got some Copic refills and some new Copic nibs. So I'm going to be refilling some Copic markers and then I'm going to be drawing with them. And the rest of my Copic markers. I haven't used them in quite a long time, but I used them recently and I forgot how good they are. So I got some refills so I could use them again. Hi, so now that you've seen me fill up a marker, I thought I'd explain to you how. Also, I thought the audio kind of sounded cool for the last video, so I thought I'd keep it in. But these ones I was talking, so I had to mute the video. But yeah, so basically, you get a little ink thing, and they also sell bigger ones, or at least they used to. But these smaller ones are a lot cheaper, and it's still a lot of ink that'll last you a while. So you just take the... Um, not the brush tip off, but the other one, the, oh my god, the, the other nib they have on the markers that I can't remember the name of. You take it off and you just put a little ink in there. And I do like two to like three squeezes and it's normally good. So, yeah, it's actually pretty simple. <laughs> it's really hard to squeeze, but it, taking the tip off isn't. I was going to say not that hard, but then I just struggled with it. So, um, normally it's not that hard. But yeah, don't take the brush tip off because um, I've broken it taking trying to take them off. So, make sure you do the other one. The broad nib. What, chisel, chisel tip. That chisel, is that what it's called? I think it's called the chisel tip. Chisel nib. I don't know. I think something like that. But take that one off. <laughs> don't do the other one. And I also got some... Um, some new nibs for some of my markers the nibs were uh dried out and they were like hard as a rock so i replaced them but yeah so um i didn't think i'd show me refilling like every marker but i showed a couple but yeah so yeah it's pretty simple once you've done it a couple times but yeah this one needed some new nibs yeah, so um, after this, I'm going to show you me sketching the picture, and then I will tell you about the characters that I'm going to draw, because they have a story that I feel like just needs to be shared. It's very important. <laughs> so yeah, you can put in like however much ink you want, and surprisingly, these little things of ink will actually last you a while, so that's pretty nice. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you who I'm drawing. So... Uh, me and my friends, we play a lot of Roblox together because it's like an online game and we can play games together and it's very fun. And there's a lot of different types of games on there if you've never played it. So I'm drawing me and my friend's avatar and um, <laughs> I feel kind of bad that I like took so, took, took so long. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to like draw it. And then like, it's like been a very long time since we played this game. But there's this game that was supposed to be, like, just, like, a historical, like, roleplay game. And it was, like, I think the time was, like, 1862 or something, or 1832. I don't know. But um, it was this weird, like, old town. And we were just, like, exploring, we, me and one of my friends, like, on the game. And it was very fun. 
and um I kept finding all of like these really sketchy like places in the game and I kept like getting stuck which was pretty funny and then she kept finding all these really like fun places and then we like um we got jobs in the game then we got like outfits and um I thought the outfits were really cool so I wanted to draw them and I didn't draw this outfit, but one of my jobs was I became, like, a cop, and I got a cool little cop outfit. Um, yeah, I might still draw that, because it was very cute. <laughs> it was a little hat, too. But yeah, so that's what I wanted to draw. And um, my friend here gave me quite a challenge, because um, I've never really drawn an outfit like that before. And she gave her character short hair. Uh, I don't really draw, like, short hair. I like drawing long hair, so I always draw long hair. So, um, the hair might look really bad, or maybe it looks good. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't draw short hair, so I feel like it looks really bad. But, I mean, anime characters have weird hair, so maybe it's just, like, one of those weird anime characters' hair. Yeah, so that's what I'm going with. <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, also, this drawing, uh, I kind of hate it most of the time while working on it, but, um, I think it turns out pretty good, or at least, um, I haven't finished it yet, but I just finished coloring my friend's side, and, um, it looks, it looks not bad, so I think it looks good, maybe, so I'm pretty happy, considering it looked like a dumpster fire most of the time while I was working on this, even the sketch, I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. but yeah, so I'm pretty happy and then I have to color my side but I think it'll be a lot easier for me also the background is simpler so and there's hair so my character I gave her a lot of hair so I think it'll be easier but yeah also I'm like wearing a very simple dress so it's a lot easier on that side I'm very excited and I've already done one side so I kind of have a plan so, um, my friend's side, I wanted to make it really sunny, like a lively, like, town, and then on my side, it's going to be nighttime, and I'm going to be in, like, this, like, sketchy part of the town, like, with my lantern. But yeah. Also, it's sunny, but it's also raining, so that's why there's an umbrella. There was, like, a uh, little stuff, they, there was, like, in the game, little stuff, um, inventory items, and I think... So there was an umbrella that made you jump really high and a lantern so you could see because it got dark sometimes. And then I think there was like a cane that made you like run really fast, which is kind of funny. It was very helpful. I kept forgetting about the cane and the umbrella, so I would just like walk normally. <laughs> and then my friend would like come out of the sky and be like, hey, I'm like, oh yeah, the umbrella. At one point I got stuck in a hole because I forgot that there was an umbrella that made you jump really high. So, you know, that would have been helpful if I remembered it. <laughs> but yeah, it was really fun playing that game. And I thought it made the perfect idea for a drawing. But I got kind of stressed out about, like, drawing my friend's avatar. I was like, I don't draw, like, characters like this. I don't know. I'm stressed out. But I wanted it to be really good because, you know, it's, like, my friend's character. So, um, I tried. I think it, it, doesn't look, it doesn't look as bad as it does at the start. Even, like, I couldn't even draw faces. I was, like, stressed out. And I also spent, like, a month, like, not working on this. And I did, um, at the start I showed, but I did, like, some little helpful sketches to for the layout. And even then, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't like it. But yeah, I couldn't even draw the face. Like, I was like, I can't even draw a face right now. Okay, so I had this really cute uh, video of my cat, so I had to put it in here. <laughs> I had to mute it because we were watching a movie, but like, look at him, he's playing with his little ball, it's so cute. Aww. <laughs> okay, so I just finished the sketch, and I really hate it. <laughs> I had a really hard time with this. The only thing I really like is the lantern. That's the only thing I think looks good. And I think part of the problem was because um, this is a lot smaller than I'm used to. So, like, I couldn't make the eyes as detailed. So I had to get rid of some of the highlights. But yeah, I think, I mean, I think the clothes look good. But yeah, and then for the background, I'm just going to try to make it look blurry so I don't have to add more details. 
Time for the coloring. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah, excuse my messy desk. It is the life of an artist. <laughs> yeah, so I sh thought I would show my little Copic thing. I think it looks good. <laughs> yeah, I got it on Amazon, the little storage thing. Okay, and um, that bright light that just, like, showed up, I turned my ring light on, so... It wasn't letting me turn the brightness down, which is kind of scary, because I just got that light, so... That'd be annoying if it was, you know, not working already. But yeah, so, that was fun. <laughs> so, it's super bright, but I thought that, like, uh, nighttime lighting was, like, worse than it being bright. I don't think it is. I think this is worse now that I'm looking at it. But while I was drawing, I thought the other thing was worse. So I'm just going to be working on um, the right side right now. But at first, I was coloring in both sides of the uh, leaves. Because I wanted the leaves to look um, consistent on both sides. So if I did it at the same time, I wouldn't like be able to forget what I did on the other side, you know? So that's why I was doing that. But um, I didn't keep doing that because I got scared I was going to add something because I was just kind of experimenting. So I figured I'd just like do what I remembered on the other side and it would probably be fine. Although this was a couple days ago at this point and I have not done the left side. So we'll see <laughs> if I remember, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, so um, also my original plan was not to have the leaves on both sides, but I wanted it to look... Um, cohesive consistent i think it's cohesive is what i'm looking for yeah maybe both of those i don't know um i wanted them to match that's the easy way to say it <laughs> but yeah and i have them both turned to like opposite sides so it looks very matchy matchy or not opposite i guess it's the same side just like not towards each other anyway it looks good and one of them is going to be daytime other one is going to be nighttime so Matchy matchy. Oh, there's my face and it's gone. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's what I did for that. And then um, there, I don't know if I, yeah, I'll say it right now. So before I forget, one of the things that I did a little later that I don't film because um, I was having a really hard time. So I had to like turn off the camera so I could like focus and I finished it, and it actually looks good. But one of the things I did off camera um, a little bit later is I added, um, like, I used a light brown marker, and I went over the whole picture. So I wanted to tone down the colors a little bit, which looks really good. I'm so happy. <laughs> but yeah, so I toned down the colors, and I also um, add raindrops in a minute here. Also off camera because I forgot. But yeah, and here's where I start going a little rogue. I got my paint pens out. And I outlined the bushes with yellow. So I wanted it to look more uh, sunny. And I also add a sun in the corner. Which looks kind of crazy. But after I like tone it down and like add liner and stuff it looks better. So I got some paint, pen paint pens. And I also use these random colored liners that I don't remember the brand name, but they're just like some cheap colored liners that actually like work really well. So, um, yeah, I don't remember where I got them, but they're like really good. <laughs> but yeah, so I just used those. And I actually wasn't planning to use uh, colored liners. I was gonna do brown, but the color like lines look really nice. <laughs> Cause I wanted something subtle instead of just like black lines. Like I would normally do i guess technically i don't normally do black i normally do like a dark a dark color of some kind a dark brown or a dark pink or a dark purple or a dark blue but it's normally looks like black so <laughs> yeah so i guess it doesn't really matter oh also when i did uh the brown over everything i didn't do it on the skin because the skin is such a light color and I might have not done it on the white part of the shirt. I might have um, not went over that too. But I don't remember if I went over that or if I didn't. But yeah, so the face was looking kind of whack. But um, the sunglasses definitely helped. That, you know, covered up half the face. So, <laughs> hopefully I can fix the other face. I'm a little scared. But it's okay. If I can do this side, I can do the other side. That should be easier. 
Suspense. <laughs> yeah, also uh, for the shirt, instead of coloring in the edges, I colored in the middle of the shirt and the shapes. Because it, kind of, it looks more shiny that way and it works better with dark colors because you can see the outline better if you have the lighter colors on the outside. And then you can add an outline around the very edge. I think I just finished this and I actually like it. This is exactly what I hoped for. I mean, not exactly, I guess in my head it, you know, probably still looked better. But this was like a dumpster fire the whole time. So I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> I still need to add some finishing touches and I need to fix this area. But when I was gluing the new paper down, I think some glue got up here. So it's really hard to draw. On there which is why there's like a streak of that green so i'm not really sure how i'm gonna fix that but you know i'll just add like some highlights and some pins or something it'll probably be fine but yeah i mean it looks really good right okay i spent way less time on this side and i'm just done with this picture so i didn't feel like filming it so i did most of it in one day without filming it so you get like one minute of me drawing it Actually, it's like less than a minute. And then I will show you the finished picture. I'm so happy it's over. <laughs> I could cry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, on the bright side, I feel like the night shading ended up turning really good. Turning out really good. Oh, also, I decided to change my friend's expression because it was too happy. I wanted it to look more mysterious. And it turns out drawing someone in like a nice weather day looking mysterious and not happy with a smile, like an evil smile, is a little difficult. So um, hopefully I achieved that. You will see in a second. I changed a lot of things. <laughs> but yeah, also those bricks were kind of annoying to draw. Those are not my favorite thing to draw. <laughs> Hello, I finished the picture. It's a miracle. I just decided I didn't feel like filming it, so I just went ahead and finished it super fast. Ta-da! The yellow I added to the bush was driving me nuts. So I just used a bunch of gouache. Um, it kind of looks like it's snowing now, so it might be snowing. I don't know. I don't care. I'm done with this picture. Normally, when I'm done with this picture, I would say I never want to look at it again, but hopefully when I look at this, I won't think of how annoying it was to draw, and I'll think about how much I enjoyed playing the game that I drew it because of. Because of from, that I drew it from. Anyway, you get it. Playing the game was fun. Drawing the picture, not fun. Did not enjoy that. Would not want to do that again. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, and the whole face was just bothering me. So I was just like, you know what? Forget it. Just like sunglasses. They're black now. Can't see the eyes. Eyebrows gone. Gone. It's just gone. This side, um, I finished that really fast. And this time I did actually do the blurry background like I was planning to do background i like the background minus the moon i didn't really feel anything with the sky the bricks look nice though so that's nice um yeah luckily i will say i like this side better but this side does look like i spent more time on it which is nice considering how much time i spent on this side so i'm happy <laughs> it's over <laughs> the suffering is over <laughs> I think I'm like wiggling my table a lot. Hmm. It's a very wiggly table, I guess. Maybe I need to tighten my phone stand or something. Anyway, um, I think I'm just done with with the picture. With the video, I think I'm just gonna have the outro be right here. I don't even it's good. Um next video hopefully won't be this bad <laughs> i mean i don't think the video is that bad but like me making the video hopefully won't be this bad that that would be nice 
I have a couple different video ideas. I don't know which one I will do first. But yeah, um, that's fun. I'm like half asleep right now too. Okay, I can do this outro. Uh-huh. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you know, subscribe, leave a comment, share the video, hit the like button. Those would all be very appreciated. <laughs> and um, yeah, see you next time. Hopefully it will be funner for me. <laughs> Bye.